we're stuck here, okay? I want to turn my hips all the way over, but my back stays flat to the mat, almost, right? So we're gonna just a second. If you look where my shoulders are, my shoulders are still facing the mat, so I didn't need this here. My foot here, I'm gonna to try to get a, basically hit my heel and dig it into the groove right here by his leg, or his, in front of his shin, suck it up. Now, the key guys, when you're doing this, imagine that the person's super, super big, so it's not gonna be a push, it's gonna be continuing to hold with the frame, and then bring the leg under. And then from here, you can go right into a half guard position, where you just adjust. Now, now you know, my basic half guard, but I like to play here, working down low, do the tilt up, coming up into position here. And then you do it just past the guard. And then you go around here, and then you go do the same thing, and then we go back and forth. Now, if you guys maybe want to go to the full guard, take a look at it. So again, first things first, everything's flat on the mat. We make a little space, get our frame built right there. We bridge, nothing really happens. Our hips are turned, but his body didn't move. I'm going to work on making sure if you need to push it down a little bit, you can use your elbow. Take your foot, hook the shin right there. From here, continue to use your frame to push, and then let your leg get uh, the actual moving towards you. Underhook, from here. Now, if you wanted to go like a full guard, if you wanted to go an open guard, something in front, then we'll put that knee shield position in, make some distance, get control of the inside, and then we can go back to a like, closed guard, back to a single screen, over to transition, into an open position, but again, if you want to do something from the half guard here, we've got our underhook. Take the outside leg, hook, leave it down low, tuck here if you want to go to the deep half. Right here. No matter what sweep you do, guys, come up, full pass, and I want you to end in the mount. Right here. Now your hips turn all the way over, and I keep your back right uh, your face and then your legs down, right? Yeah. Now what we do is we just get this like yeah. flat down first and then take this stretch on. Right here, you can take this and push it down a little bit more. And all we want is we'll hook the foot right here. Now, from here, continue to push here and then bring this leg toward you. No, 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 like right here. Don't even try to do that. Just try to bring this knee up and through and let his leg fall into place. And now you've got an underhook going to better. There we are. And then you can go back to whatever position you want. What, what's the sweep you want to use? Nice, good. Uh, right there. Now get your underhook. So the biggest thing for the half guard is we want to have a good underhook, and you want to be deep and low. Get out of your dad's down here. Get on your, get off your elbow. So like in your to play this kind of half guard, we've got to be comfortable, sort of being down here like this crunched in. Okay, let's get it. You can get lower as as low as you can get with the arm, but get off your elbow. Lean forward, right here. Now what you're gonna do? Don't move. The position we're in here. We're gonna hook, take this foot here, and I want you to hook the ankle, pull this out, and we're gonna slightly drag it just a little bit. Not too much, but just enough. This hand, go ahead and bring it in here to me. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab not the shin, but the toe, okay? Now what we do is we inch this towards our body. Don't try to come up yet. Inch, 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 inch. Foot forward, keep pulling forward. Now what you do at this point, once that leg is here, this hip is ready to go. Here, lean forward and pop up to your knees. Oh, there it is. See that? Drew, let's check these out, brother. So, other side. Okay, you hit that ankle. Use the leg. Yeah, you got it. Turn your side. Now, from here, are you gonna? What, what are you gonna do now? I've been doing like scissor sweep. Okay, so you can go to the scissor sweep right from here. When you do that, go get your sleeve grips. You got, you got your collar. Um, can you show me what you're doing on that last? Showed him. Yeah, yeah, so let's do it. Let's come in. So, so bring your first here. So, in order to do it properly, see, you've got the knee, you're bringing that knee in. Yeah. That'd be good for like going back to guard, but you want to be really close. You're actually going to, when you come back, let's go back to this position here. So, go inside your side. So, we just got, don't move. So, you just got the leg inside the uh, that half guard right after you push the leg in, right? Yeah. So, what we want is we've got the step on. We're going to keep it. So, what I want you to get on your side, and I want you to get this underhook, and we want to, yes, yeah, stay down at the bottom. Now, here's the trick to it. We're going to switch and hook right here. Okay. Now, from here, you're going to 
take your hand and I'm gonna grab his toes. Okay. So I call this the toe tuck sweep, right? I'm literally gonna grab Danny by the toes. And the reason we do this is because if you grab his shin, yeah. grab his shin for me, like, yeah. he can just straighten his leg out. Yeah. Okay? Now if we grab the toes. Is it the foot or the toes? Toes. Right here, right up here, right, right, right here. Right there. Right here. Basically, if he tries to straighten his leg out, he can only do so much. And so what we do is we inch, 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 inch. And keep going. Now right here, once you get about right here where his hip is lined up, all you do is you, you rock up to your knees and come up. There you go. Good. 